You're listening to or watching the QC Step Podcast, a podcast to give you the information and the skills that you need to find a job, keep that job, and become a successful employee. My name is Corey Finneran, and welcome to the 34th episode of the QC Step Podcast. I have a shorter episode for you this week. I'm going to play a video for you that is entitled, How to Find a Job with No Work Experience. But before I do that, let's take a look at this week's job leads. Job leads are posted to qcstep.com on Monday mornings. And like I've said in the last few episodes, you can expect that to continue over the summer. And Don or Don and Cindy will be posting those. And so if you're interested in any of the job leads and you want more information or help with the application, you can fill out the contact form that's at the bottom of that post that gets sent to me and I'll pass it on to them and they'll get in contact with you. There aren't very many job leads this week. If you looked at the website, you'll notice that there weren't many. And uh, it kind of surprised me at first, but then when I thought about it, I realized that most of the businesses that are going to be hiring for the uh, summer season have probably already done their hiring. So this is kind of a dead period. So if you waited until you were out of school to find a summer job, you probably made it a little bit more difficult for yourself by waiting. Um, but there's there are two things that I'd like to say about that. Uh, first off, I've talked about it on the podcast before, but um, fast food businesses are hiring all the time. They have very high turnover. And just because they're fully staffed right now doesn't mean that they will be in a couple weeks. So if you're out and about, swing into fast food restaurants, ask them if they're hiring. Even if they're not, maybe pick up an application. And then in the future, you can just call to find out if they're hiring and save yourself a trip. And maybe that will um, make the employer or the hiring manager see you as more prepared and uh, really interested in working. The second thing that I wanted to say is, and it's maybe been a while since I mentioned this on the podcast, but just because a job lead or just uh, the, the job leads that are posted on our website are not the only jobs or um, businesses that are hiring. Those aren't the only positions available. Those are just the ones that I know about. So um, don't assume because there's only a couple this week. Oh, nobody in the Quad Cities is hiring. That's not true. Uh, just I'm recording this on Wednesday afternoon, and right now there is a job fair going on for teenagers that I talked about on the last episode. I've also posted about on the website and on our uh, Facebook and Twitter accounts to to let everybody know about it. But so there are people hiring. Um, so don't assume because there aren't that many job leads posted this week or any week in the future that that nobody's hiring because that's just not true. So uh, let's go through these. Uh, starting off with the Hy-Vee food stores, the Moline Avenue of the City store, they're looking for night stock and kitchen clerk. And for both of these positions, you need to be 18. So these are probably geared towards any of you seniors that just graduated or will be graduating in the next week or so. Uh, the Silvis Hy-Vee, they're looking for a bakery clerk and a demonstrator. Now, for any of these positions with hy there's a link to the online application on our site under the, um, the post, Job Leads May 28th, 2013. So you can click on that, fill up, you know, create a profile with hy and go ahead and apply for those jobs. Um, there's another job here that would maybe be geared towards uh, not just our graduates, but anybody that's old enough to work. Um, and that would be Whitewater Junction. They're hiring ticket takers and slide attendants. Slide attendants. Um, and so what you can do is click on the online application. That takes you to uh, Rock Island or ri.gov. So it's like the city's website, and you would apply there. I have one more job lead, and this is specifically for graduates. It is for... Um, Sanitary Cleaner is the business name. It's in Rock Island, and they're looking for a full-time counter person. So uh, a counter person would probably have to be comfortable with running a cash register. Um, you'd be uh, checking people out as far as uh, running credit cards, debit cards, taking cash, but then also maybe um, knowing um, alphabetical order, how to find things, because that's the way that things are hung up at dry cleaners. 
and um, really being able to be comfortable, too, with customer service, greeting people, talking with people, that sort of thing. So if you're interested in that position, you can apply it in person, and that's at 609 17th Street in Rock Island. So if you would like any assistance with applications or if you want more information on any of these job leads that I gave you today, like usual, you can fill out the contact form that's at the bottom of this post or the job leads post, and I will be in contact with you. Just today, I found out about an event that's going on, and it's next week at um, on June 4th. And so that is Tuesday, uh, Tuesday, June 4th from 4 p.m. to 6 p.m. at Western Illinois University, the Quad Cities Riverfront Campus. Um, they're, they are having, I wouldn't really call it a job fair, maybe just more of an informational meeting or something. It's called Find Your Niche. And what it is, is it's for people that are interested in, in um, non-traditional careers is what they're calling it. So people that don't want to work in an office, don't want to work uh, in a store, things like that. And and um, I'm showing you the flyer here. And it is for people that would like to explore academic programs and careers in museums, park and wildlife services, environmental biology, tourism, and zoos and aquariums. Now, environmental biology, I don't think uh, many high school students are thinking along those lines yet, but um, maybe you are interested in history or science, and you would like to see what's out there as far as careers and maybe even jobs right now in those areas. And so um, if this is something you're interested in, I would definitely check it out. Again, it's Tuesday, June 4th, and it's from 4 to 6 p.m. at the Western Illinois University Quad Cities Riverfront on River Drive in Moline, and um, I, 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 like I said, I just found out about it today, and I think it could be kind of interesting because these are types of jobs that you don't really see listed in the paper very often, and there aren't a lot of opportunities um, in the Quad Cities, I wouldn't think, for these jobs, but there are some out there. And so if these are things you're interested in, if you don't want to work in a retail store or, or in a restaurant and you're interested in these things, I would strongly encourage you uh, to check them out so that you can learn more about um, these careers and um, the academic programs that might help you uh, reach that goal as far as your career goes. Well, with a lot of you still taking finals and wrapping up your school year, I didn't want to throw too much information at you here towards the end of the school year. Um, Like I said last time, uh, there's a couple more episodes left of the podcast, but I didn't want to uh, bog you down with too much information, especially uh, for those of you that still have to take your finals. Um, So what I want to do is show you a video, and this video is called How to Find a Job with No Work Experience. And it's from the Snag a Job YouTube page. And Snag a Job is a, it's kind of like Indeed.com. It's like an online classified ad uh, where you can find out who's hiring in your area. And um, that's where I get a lot of the links um, from for our, uh, that I put on the website for the online applications. So it's a good website because um, you don't have to, Uh, drive around all over the place to get applications. I know that online applications aren't real fun, but uh, that's just the way that technology is, and that's the way that businesses are doing things. And so Snag a Job is a good resource to to find these things. And I didn't realize that they had uh, a lot of tutorial videos or videos that will help you with some of the same exact things that we talk about here on the podcast. And so if you're interested in looking through those, and I, I will link quite a few of these here over the next uh, year, especially when we come back to school in the fall, I'll probably uh, play some more of these videos and I'll post them on our Facebook page and our uh, Twitter account. I'll link to it. Um, but if you're interested in looking at them now, you can go to youtube.com slash snag a job and uh, lots of good videos are uh, produced really well. 
and it looks like a lot of good information. So I'm going to play this one for you. And again, it's called How to Find a Job with No Work Experience. Hi, I'm Amy. I work at Snag a Job, and today we're going to talk about how to find a job. Specifically, we're going to talk about how do I get a job when I don't have any experience? We hear this question a lot from first-time job seekers, teenagers, and folks that don't think they have any job experience. Do you really not have any job experience? Think about it. You probably have done some volunteering, lawn care for the next door neighbor, babysat for somebody up the street. These jobs are perfectly fine to include on an entry-level resume, so don't discount the experience that you have from working those positions. One job seeker that we met actually was 15 and looking for her first job, and she used her experience baking biscuits with her family every Sunday morning to apply to a biscuit-making job. That's perfect. That is the kind of initiative that employers want to see in a first-time job hunter. They're looking for somebody who's smart and who can apply themselves, and in this instance, she already had specific experience doing the job that they were looking for. Look for any skill or experience you can highlight. Just because you weren't paid for it doesn't mean it's not valuable to employers. For most entry-level jobs or summer jobs, employers are really looking for a great attitude. So make sure you bring that and bring whatever experience you already have and you should be pretty well set. Thanks for listening today. Uh, don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel for more great job advice or head over to www.snagajob.com and start your job search with us today. Well, that does it for this week's episode. Um, I will be back next week. You have two more episodes coming uh, of the podcast before the summer break. So next week and then the week after. And um, if there's something, I don't have anything scheduled on the podcast to talk about. So if there's something you would like to hear me talk about, um, if you have any questions about employment or anything like that, you can um, email me and you can email info at qcstep.com. Or you can email uh, cfinneran at bossed.org. Those both uh, come to me, and uh, I would be happy to talk about anything. And if it's something that um, you know, you're know you interested in and you would like to hear uh, me talk about here on the podcast or us to address next year even, uh, please submit those because um, I, you know, this podcast is here for you, and I w- definitely want to help you in any way that I can. So thank you for listening and downloading, and we will be back next week with another episode of the QC Step Podcast. Podcast.